Hey, what's going on, guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a user defined function in Excel to mimicking the lookup function, except that with this field lookup function we're going to write, we'll extract all the associated value if a lookup value appears multiple times in a column. So, over here on my Excel spreadsheet, I have a reference uh, table and I have salesperson uh, and uh, product sell. So, I basically use different superhero names as my salesperson. And in column C, we have different products so like tablet, desktop, and laptop. And noticing that for some of the cells, uh, those are empty cells. And for Iron Man, uh, this record appears twice. So we're going to create kind of like a modified lookup function that enhances the, the capability of the lookup function. As we all know, one of the limitations with uh, the lookup function is that if one of the lookup value appear twice, so like uh, let me see, uh, like Superman. So here, let me populate some some other uh, product. So I'll use laptop. With the normal field lookup function, you will extract uh, the first item uh, it found. In this case, the field lookup function will extract the tablet. What happens if your lookup value uh, appear multiple times? In that case, a field lookup will not work. So here on the right hand side is going to be our uh, expect result table. And in column E, I have different salesperson's name. And in column F, we have the expect result. So the function is going to ignore empty cells. And if your lookup value has multiple associated items, the function is going to extract all the associated values and concatenate them together. So here in column F, and this is going to be our expect result. Now let's get started and let's go ahead and open our VBA window. We can use the shortcut Alt F11 or we can go to the developer tab and click on Visual Basic. I'm going to go ahead and insert a new module. So here I'm going to call my function uh, VLOOKUP2, so public function VLOOKUP2. And our parameter will be uh, lookup value, a string. And we're going to have the uh, cell reference parameter. So this will be cell range as range. And we'll also have the, the lookup column index. So I'm going to call this parameter column index uh, as integer. And our output will be variant just because we don't know what the output, uh, the app type is going to be. So first, I'm going to insert air handler. So on air, go to air handle. And if there's any air, we're going to populate the output as uh, empty strings. Now let's uh, go ahead and uh, uh, populate the remaining uh, variables. So here I'm going to have a cell uh, range object variable and result string uh, variable. And that's it. So here, uh, we're going to basically iterate each cell one by one uh, from the cell range uh, parameter right here. So for each cell in cell range, and if the cell value is equals to the lookup value, And we can basically uh, extract the associated items based on the color index and parameter value. So cell dot offset zero and column uh, index minus one dot value. And since we're going to uh, ignore empty cells, so I'm going to uh, insert a condition. If the associated value is not blank, then we can go ahead and extract the value. Oh, and uh, there's one more condition. Since we want to uh, ignore the duplicate value, so we can insert one one more condition. So if result string and it's not like not like the associated value, so here we'll do cell the offset, and we we'll don't want to uh, offset any rows, but we want to offset the column index by one.
and then we can go ahead and concatenate the value. So here I'm separating by comma, but you can uh, modify the VBA code accordingly based on your need. And here I'm going to concatenate the associate value. Minus one, the value. And that's it. So let me, so let me do this. Uh, it's a little bit uh, difficult to see. So I'm going to insert a new line. Okay. And lastly, we need to pass the result string to our, our VLOOKOUT2 function. And here from the result string, there's going to be an extra comma. So to remove the comma, we'll use the write function. And we'll extract uh, all the strings except the last string. And to make the function even better, so we'll use the LCHAM to remove all the uh, extra empty space uh, from the left. All right, that's it, guys. Now let's go back to our Excel spreadsheet. Now if we do uh, VLOOKUP2, oops, should be VLOOKUP2. And our first parameters is the lookup value. And here we'll highlight the, uh, our cell reference, which is our table. And press F4 to lock the cell reference. And since we only have two tables, so I'm going to use uh, two. That's my color index uh, value. Now, if I fill this uh, formula all the way down, and as you can see that the function will return all the associated values uh, tied to the, the lookup value, as well as remove all the duplicate values and the empty cells. All right, guys, so this is everything I'm going to share with you guys in this video. And I hope you guys found this video useful. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next video.